What's up guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video today talking about how great of a job Jagex did with this week's patch. Why I think it was so good, and kind of discuss why I think they need to keep doing things the way they did this week. Now I didn't want to just make a video talking and reading through the patch notes, but really dive into the way they went about updating the game this week. Now if you don't know, this week Jagex did the max cash change. And while that part is not so important to me, I understand that it's a huge issue for mains who are trying to buy items over max cash, which many of our best weapons are certainly past that point. However, I don't think that this is the reason the patch was so great. The most important part of what they had done this week is the community hit list. So what exactly is the community hit list? Basically, what the community hit list is, is an expansion of the ninja strike system where they used to take small issues of the game that players would either find irritating or something that would make the game less fun to play, and they would fix them to turn those small nuisances into something that was non-existent. Now what they did is they took that system to the next level by actually reaching out to the community and having us submit and vote on the things that we were most eager to have fixed, and this in my opinion was absolutely massive. The reason that I say it's so massive is because these issues that cause player problems for the players um, will always fester and always get way, way worse and simply kill the enjoyment for the player base. Over the last several years, I've seen plenty of these things be called out, usually multiple times, and honestly, I've experienced them myself, sometimes repeatedly. And when some of these things happen, it sincerely kills my enjoyment of the game, and I'm sure it kills your enjoyment as well. With this week's patch, we see some pretty big stuff get hit. Things like fleeting boots no longer locking you in place. Like the wilderness teleport restriction being lifted when you're opted out of PvP. Books no longer being needed to fill one at a time and giving us carpal tunnel and instead group filling the pages. A fill all option for the blessed flask. Iron Man hidden group abilities like Vengeance and Ruby Aurora. Mobile and PC getting a similar loot range and so much more. It looks amazing this list. This week has honestly been one of the first times in a long time outside of a major expansion that I've seen players genuinely excited and talking about a set of patches for the game inside of the game. I'm personally super excited and have thoroughly enjoyed the changes that have been made in the short time that I've been playing so far. Outside of maybe the extra work for PVM prep time thanks to now needing rippers instead of calcs. But hey, honestly that's just because I'm lazy. I sincerely hope that Jagex continues on this trend that they have been setting as of late of actually keeping the community involved in the communication with the game. Because in my opinion, if they continue to operate their ninja strikes like this, this week's patch may honestly be the most important patch they've done or will do for a while. But that's all I really wanted to say. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.